生活 from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en dot wikipedia dot org. 生活 or 生活 was a polymathic Chinese scientist and statesman of the Song Dynasty from 960 to 1279, born 1031, died 1095. Excelling in many fields of study and statecraft, he was a mathematician, astronomer, meteorologist, geologist, zoologist, botanist, pharmacologist, agronomist, ethnographer, encyclopedist, poet, general, diplomat, hydraulic engineer, inventor, academy chancellor, finance minister, and governmental state inspector. He was the head official for the Bureau of Astronomy in the Song Court, as well as an assistant minister of Imperial Hospitality. At court, his political allegiance was to the Reformist Party of the New Policies Group, headed by Chancellor Wang Anshi from 1021 to 1086. In his Dream Pool essays, Meng Shi Bihan. Of 1088, Shen was the first to describe the magnetic needle compass, which would be used for navigation. First described in Europe by Alexander Neckham in 1187, Shen also discovered the concept of true north in terms of magnetic declination towards the North Pole. With experimentation of suspended magnetic needles and the improved meridian determined by Shen's astronomical measurement of the distance between the pole star and the true north. This was the decisive step in human history to make compasses more useful for navigation. It was a concept unknown in Europe for another four hundred years. Alongside his colleague Wei Pu, Shen accurately mapped the orbital paths of the moon and the planets in an intensive five-year project that rivaled the later work of the Danish astronomer Tig Jebrahe. From 1546 to 1601, to aid his work in astronomy, Shen Kuo made improved designs of the armillary sphere, gnomon, sighting tube, and invented a new type of infoclepsidra clock. Shen Kuo devised a geological theory of land formation or geomorphology based upon findings of inland marine fossils, knowledge of soil erosion, and the deposition of silt. He also proposed a theory of gradual climate change after observing ancient petrified bamboos that were preserved underground in a dry northern habitat that would not support bamboo growth in his time. He was the first literary figure in China to mention the use of the word "dry dock" to repair boats suspended out of water, and also wrote of the effectiveness of the relatively new invention of the canal pound lock. Although Ibn al-Hathim was the first to describe camera obscura, Shen Kuo was the first in China to do so several decades later. Shen Kuo wrote extensively about movable type printing invented by Bi Sheng, 990 to 1051, and because of his written works, the legacy of Bi Sheng and the modern understanding of the earliest movable type has been handed down to later generations. End of introduction. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org/copyleft/fdl.html.